Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this CarTech video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve the link error message that you'll see on screen for the iCarSoft version 1.0 or version 2.0 diagnostic tools. Um, don't confuse this video with if you've got one of these tools, I've made a separate video for the communication failure problems that you get with this fault, this tool. This is regarding the link error fault that you might get. So this happens in the, these are called Gen 2 scan tools. This is a Gen 2 scan tool. Uh, this is a Gen 2 uh, scan tool. This is a version 1.0. This is a version 2.0. And if you do need any of these, then by all means, just go to Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com. Any case, um, the reason you'll get one of these, there's two reasons why you might get one of these, and I'll talk you through them now. So we're in a Porsche Cayenne right now, but that doesn't matter, but this is linked up to the OBD2 port. And I'm gonna give you an example of what you might get. So first of all, Diagnostics. I'm just gonna go in and select our vehicle. And then we'll show you the link error. So I'm gonna go through and just select something like uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. the lane change assist. So I'm gonna click enter. And then we've got this message here. Link error, please check if the vehicle is equipped with the module, the cable's connected, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'd always recommend you try these connections with the engine running because that means all of the systems are gonna be actually activated. Uh, but the link error, Basically, it can be for one of two reasons, okay? So the first reason is the reason why we've got it in this particular case. Lane change assist is not a system or not a feature or function which is installed into this vehicle. So that is one of the reasons why you might be getting it. You might be going through all of the options on your tool thinking, why is it not connecting to that system? Why is it not connecting to that system? What the tool is trying to do is as soon as you click OK or Ender, it's going to try and find that system and realize it can't connect to it because it's not there, so it's reporting back with a link error. So that is a normal circumstance as to why you would get this message. But there is another circumstance as well, and this is the annoying one. Um, if, say, for example, you wanted to try and diagnose a fault within your airbag system, and you obviously, or let's say PSM in this case, that's the ABS system, Porsche Stability Management, because we do actually have a fault in that system. So we know this car has the PSM system installed. We know this car has the ABS system installed. We've got an ABS light on there. Uh, that's a dead giveaway. Um, so what happens in this case, if you press enter to try and diagnose it, get into it, and click on read DTCs, and it then gives you the link fault or the link error. That is a problem, and that is because the tool is not equipped, or that is the tool is not, um, the software is not developed enough on the tool to actually communicate with that system in your vehicle. So the two ways that I would recommend you uh, deal with this is the first reason, I'm gonna put a link in the description and in, uh, in below this video, and it's gonna take you to a website where you can actually download the latest software for this tool because you could be getting this link error because of a, an outdated piece of software which is on the tool. Uh, the engineers are generally always trying to update the software and in which case uh, you may be running an older software but a software update has fixed the problem so you may well get into it. Um, so that's the first thing I would try, definitely update your, your iCarsoft tool with the latest software version. Um, if that doesn't work, then also what I'm gonna do is put an email address to the top engineer at iCarsoft. Um, use this email address to put in a complaint that your tool isn't connecting to the car. And what they can do is they have engineers on hand that can actually develop the software. So you need to give them your VIN number, you need to give them your vehicle information, you know, like a Porsche Cayenne 2013, give them the VIN number, give them the engine type and things like that. Also send them some screenshots and send them some pictures. So example here, let's say this wasn't linking with the ABS system, even though we know it's installed. Just take a quick picture of this exact scene and they'll know exactly what's going on. They may ask you, they may go back and forwards with you, asking you for some further information. Um, my advice is just be patient with them because they've probably got a lot to get through. Um, but the, the email address that I'm gonna do is the top engineer at iCarsoft and that person will help you out. Well, they should help you out in any case. 
Um, so yeah, so that's the, that. Those are the uh, the two reasons why you will, will probably get a link error, and two potential fixes for that link error. Um, and I hope that's helped you. As I say, um, these tools are generally 90, 95 percent of the time working exactly as they should it's just obviously there is a small occasion whereby you will get a link error and it can be quite frustrating i totally get that i totally totally get it because um, i've been in this situation myself where i've tried a, an icarsoft tool and i've needed to diagnose a certain system and it's just given me a communication failure however the engineers have come through they've updated the software put a fix in and then i've been able to do it it just needs a little bit of patience on both sides so thanks for watching this CarTech video. Like I say, if you do need any diagnostic tools uh, for your specific vehicle, we recommend the iCarsoft range and they are available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.